Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I've got to make an arrangement that's going in a restaurant and what the spec is is to be all roses and all round. So this is going to sit at an entrance uh, to greet people as they come into the restaurant. So I've got this Oasis container and it's just what we would call a designer bowl and we're going to put some foam in it first. For our flowers and our foliage I've just got a mix of foliage and for our roses I've got this beautiful rose called New Orleans and this is a lovely lilac rose. So first of all we need to put our oasis in the dish. So I've got two blocks of wet foam and these have been pre-soaked and I just want to cut about maybe a quarter off. So this gives me a section that I can just fit in like that and that's perfect. Now I'm not going to waste these, I'm going to put these on top. So this gives us a little bit more foam and a little bit more volume of water. So if you think restaurants, they're never cold. So one of the problems that's going to go against these roses is the fact that it's going to be hot. So the more foam I have, the more water we have for our flowers. And this is really going to help them last. So I'm just putting a little bit of tape across the top. And that creates our base for our flowers. So now we can get started. What I want to do first is just hide this ugly container. It's quite a neutral container but it's still not exactly beautiful. So I'm going to put some fatsia leaves just around the edge and the benefit of these is they're nice and big and they just help to cover that edge. So we can work with that and just place them round. Now, in a way this can look a little bit unnatural, so if you have one or two you can bring them up a, up a level as well. But we're not necessarily going to make a huge arrangement here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this lovely French Ruscus. And what I'll do is I'll start in, this, in the middle. So if you think about, sometimes when we make bokeh we do things in threes. Um, threes or fives or sixes, it works quite well. So straight away we've created a framework here where we've got three spaces. So now I've put in those three, I can come in at a lower level and put in even two or three and that just helps create this shape for this all round arrangement. Now, even with these little bits, we can keep them and we can just bring them in lower down to bring that texture down into the arrangement. So I'm just cleaning off any leaves here so we've got a nice clean stem for going into our foam. So straight away, this has actually created a nice all round shape with everything spaced out equally. So I'm going to use some leather leaf. Now it's not necessarily the best foliage in a restaurant but my hope is that with the volume of other foliage and flowers then that'll help keep it nice and happy. If it was just on its own it would probably dry a little bit too quick. So I'm just going around the base and looking for where to place it in, in relation to the fascia and then we can start coming up a little bit. So really with this fern I want to keep it quite short. If we're thinking that it's going to suffer from drying out, if I have it out here it's much more likely to suffer. Whereas if I keep it much closer in it's going to benefit from any moisture evaporating off the foam and also from the other materials that's round about it. So straight away we've created more volume with our fern and we don't need any more of that. But what I'm going to use also just to create a little bit more texture is a little bit of, this is pistache, and we can just break this down into units and pop that in. These are actually very beautiful. And what I like about this is we've got a lovely clean stem for placing but we've got a nice uh, unit of greenery on the top. It's not always like that but this time it's come in with a really nice shape. And then I've just got some 
non-variegated pitosporum just to add, again, another element of texture. So we're looking at that and again you can place this so it goes down, you can place it so it sits up. And we can add that. So I would suggest you should work in a methodical way. So go round and go right round or start at the bottom with the material and work up or start at the top and work down. That doesn't mean to say that everything has to be spaced out through the whole design, but it will give you an overall, a, please, a more pleasing look. So, a little tidy up. This is quite green, so just to finish off on the foliage, I've got some eucalyptus. And we're just going to bring that in as a contrast to this dark foliage. And again, look at your material and see how you can split it down to best use. So I can take this bit off. And this is a nice unit in itself. Okay, so really, if you were wanting to make an arrangement that's just foliage, then this would be a great way to start. And if you've got some nice garden foliage, then you could really make this quite exciting. But what we're doing today is we're doing these roses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them a nice clean cut with a knife. And then we're going to start at the top and just work our way down. So I'm going to follow that same idea that we did initially with our Ruscus, we're going to put a central one, then we're going to put three. And that gives me an area to work in coming down the way. Now we don't want this to be military, but just having that kind of system of working is a great way to do it it means you'll get a good look and a good result. And if you've got any damaged leaves, just remove them. So we've done our three, then we've done another three. And now we can just work into this lower level. I'm just maybe putting one up, one down, one up, one down, and working our way round. And when I'm placing the roses, I'm just looking for how their heads are sitting. So we don't want it to all be perfectly uniform. We want some recessed a little bit, some coming out a little bit and just looking in different directions. And this will make your arrangement feel more natural. So for this arrangement here, I'm using about 20 roses, 21 roses. Now you might want to mix it up. You might want to use two different colors or three different colors. That would give you totally different look, but essentially the way you would make it would be the same. So just a quick spin and see where it needs a rose. And I would actually say maybe one to the centre, but recessed a little bit is good. And just looking for any spaces that might need just a little bit of something, whether it's a bit of foliage or another rose, but I think we're good. So we've got an all-round design featuring roses with nice foliage and quite a classic design. But what I want to do is I want to just put this into a container that will really look amazing as you come into the restaurant. So I've got this beautiful faux sandstone urn 
And this is just going to look perfect with our roses. And again, this container just fits perfectly. So for someone who's coming in, they'll think that this is a very big, solid arrangement. But actually, it's quite clever and quite portable. So I hope you've enjoyed watching our video today. If you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos, then click here to subscribe. Thank you.